and you might have noticed on my social media pages uh, such as Instagram and Facebook they've been talking a bit about the winter well gear so I finally invested in some winter well gear and I want to show you one of them in more detail today a little bit more detail I'm not going to be doing any cooking or anything but I did do some cooking yesterday and the day before and let me tell you uh, I am very impressed with this one here I'm about to show you so this here is the Winnowell smoker for the large so take note for the large so if you happen to be lucky enough to own one of these winter wells, you must own the large if you want to incorporate this with your winter well oven. So what I've got here is the winter well woodlander double view large stove. So what that means, double view, it's got the glass, the viewable windows on both sides as well. And this one's quietly different to what a lot of you out there have is the Nomad, which is more squared shape. This one's actually got a round shape on the bottom there, and there's a little bit of an advantage with that. So just excuse me, I had to go and grab this one of the features, one of the accessories that comes with your window well oven when you purchase are these grates. And the beauty with this, it is contoured to fit right there and there's no lip there so all these ashes you are easily able to scoop them out into a little box or bucket or whatever there so aids for easier cleaning so I thought I'd mention that's one of the reasons why I went for the woodlander but when I was looking through the site and looking at the accessories I noticed one thing is that the the large, whether it's a Nomad or the Woodlander like I have here, has more accessories. They've got more accessories. And one of them is the Woodlander smoker. Now, as you can see, it's been used. I've been putting it to the test the last couple of days. And I must admit, initially, when I first started this up, I had some issues with it now I filmed a bit of a live video a couple of days ago and it was abruptly stopped after an hour but if you watch that video if not go back and watch it you'll see that I actually had some issues with this smoker and I was a little bit well <laughs> that's an understatement understatement a little bit I was majorly majorly upset okay not with the stove not with the oven okay not with the stove in the bottom but with the oven I couldn't get any heat in it no matter what I tried I couldn't get a heat in but I'm here to let you know guys that it's just a user error a good friend of mine Steve from Saw Adventures saw the video and he rang called me early the next morning and he did some research in it and he found a couple of excellent videos youtube videos one in particular i hadn't watched it and one guy in particular was talking about this and he said guys if you have trouble with getting heat in these it's all to do with the flu the chimney take notice here the chimney adjustments I've got here so when you use these this oven the woodlander I've got here in particular you can adjust the temperature and your flame by turning this flue so that's that's got like a a butterfly valve in there where if you turn it this way lengthwise it closes it you go here you can have hope halfway open quarter or zipper or fully open so how these, I should explain how these ovens work first, but before I do show you that, I want to show you one more item in particular. See up the top here, take notice, there's also a flue on the top here where you can adjust. For some reason, it's, there we go. 
So that's open and that's closed. Open, closed. So remember that. Now guys, how these ovens work, you see here I've got the woodlander. How these work is they work by a draft. So obviously you put your timber inside there, right? Light it up and you close and then you adjust how much airflow goes through by open, closing or opening this like a valve at the front here, hatch door. So that's fully open, that's fully closed. Now, if you close both of these, if you close this one and you close the chimney, your fire's going to go out. Now, let me tell you what happened the other day, why this was not working. So what happened the other day is when I was trying to cook that roast, that pork roast about two kilos inside the smoker here, I had the flue, the main flue chimney for my winter well stove here opened and I had this one open. Now how these winter well ovens work is that the draft, they've got a, they've got a draft that comes in from the front and then it shoots out from the rear. Now I noticed that most of the heat generates out the back and goes through the chimney. So that strong draft that was blown through was blowing that heat, the flames, the heat, mainly the heat, because we don't want flames coming up through here, guys. We just want the heat through there. We got the heat that came here and it was all escaping out the chimney. So what I didn't realize is that what I should have done and what Steve found out. Now I did try this the other day, but I think it failed because I had, remember this adjustment at the top here? I had that closed, guys, closed. So what I did is I thought, I was looking at the flame pattern on the side here and it was all going through out the top. And I noticed it's just the heat was just going foot straight out. So I closed this chimney and then what happened? The flame went out. The flame went out, guys. But it didn't make hardly make any difference on this. I was still able to put my hands on here. In fact, I had the roast in here for there's about 2.2 kilo pork roast. And it was in there for two hours before I removed it. And I actually end up finished cooking that roast in my air fryer, guys. And in that two hour, it raised from 35 degrees Fahrenheit internal up to 71 degrees Fahrenheit internal, right in the middle of that roast, because I'm using the meter Bluetooth probe. In two hours, it took two hours. So it was still cooking, guys. It was still cooking. And probably if I had a put that roast early morning, it would have done a slow smoke throughout the day and it's still cooking. And let me tell you, that cherry, this cherry wood chip that I purchased from Bunnings, I'm very impressed with it. Let me tell you that, I'll have more videos on that. So, so I was a little bit upset, a little bit worried, as you would notice during the live video at the end. And guys, when it cut out, I didn't cut the video out. I was using a GoPro. The thing shut down on me. I mean, I was, I was still talking away and I looked at the screen, there was nothing there and I was still talking thinking I was on live. Thinking the screen just, you know, just turns off to say battery power, I've got to set after a minute. Not realizing I was not on air. So the GoPro shut down. My guess it's overheated again. <laughs> you know the problems I've been having with that GoPro, honestly. <laughs> so, the next morning, Steve rang me up and he told me, Phil, he says, what you got to do is you got to direct the heat into the winter well oven. This is not exactly how he's worded it. I think he explained it better than this. 
and he says from what he's found online what he's seen hence why it's got this adjustment up here why it's got this like a flu adjustment you you build your temperature up here you build your coals up nice little fire you close your flue you leave this one open you can have it halfway shut you can have it open all the way and you open this one and then what happens this then takes the action of the chimney so instead of all that heat escaping out of the chimney it's a really a simple repair isn't it it goes right through here and oh boy as soon as he told me that I got out of bed I was still in bed when he called me but I was still awake anyway I was just laying in bed actually funny enough Steve I was actually on the phone looking through trying to read through what I'm doing wrong trying to find out you know any info I can I still didn't know up until Steve so thanks Steve for doing that and yeah it's a lifesaver and I came out here I fired this up and boy and in, in no time this thing went up to over 200 degrees celsius <laughs> so i was super duper excited it turned out to be a simple repair so boy i wish i knew this beforehand eh? <laughs> let me adjust this camera a bit <laughs> there you go <laughs> boy i wish i knew this beforehand so Funny story is, funny story is, is, well, it would have been funny for you, and in the end it was funny for me. You know my video I did live once when I was using actually another Winnowell oven product, a smaller one, the foldable oven, on top of my little gas burner. And I had, again, it was also a pork roast. I had it inside a oven proof bag. And then it was cooking away, it was smoking like crazy. I wasn't reading the comments and I was hearing this crackling noise and I'm sitting there, oh, this is all live on air on YouTube, saying, oh, look at this, listen to that crackle. I can't believe it's already starting to crackle, the crackle. <laughs> it was the bag just burning. It was just this skin, it caught a light basically and I had no idea. I had a very similar thing, it's probably actually even worse than that, happened <laughs> with this. <laughs> and I was going to go live, but I forgot to charge the GoPro battery. So I thought, well, bugger it, I won't worry about it. So I wanted to test with just some smoking chips before I was cook a steak in here. So what I did is I turned it on all right close to flu and then I I basically had too big of a fire inside here and I didn't let the die down to some coals because you want mostly coals in there although you can control the temperature going through there when you start cooking straight away by adjusting this by not opening that as much and may closing that down a bit but what I found when you do that, depending on the timber that you use, uh, some timber puts out a really dirty smoke, black smoke, that puts, this puts that yucky taste in your, in your, well, at least compared to some of the wood chips I've got, the taste is nowhere as good. So you don't want to contaminate what you're cooking with that dark, black smoke you want that really nice pure nice smelling smoke from the wood chips whether it's apple or cherry or whatever um, I think I've got I think I've got another smaller bag of some apple and I've got the cherry there and I'm really impressed with the cherry it's absolutely beautiful particularly with pork so I'll do a cooking video and show you one day but I'll, if you watch right through to the end of this video and I will uh, show some images of some of the, the pork that I was cooking yesterday 
I cooked one for lunch yesterday and it turned out so beautiful. I cooked another couple last night because I had a mate over here. Ian, if you're watching, hi, how are you going? He loved it. And so i got to say, it's probably the best taste tasting pork loin chop I have ever tasted. And all I did to prepare it is just put some salt on it. I didn't put any rub on it because I just wanted the taste of the smoke, the flavour. And let me tell you, oh, divine, divine. Absolutely beautiful. It's now my new favourite way of cooking the pork chops. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait till I try some smoked fish etc and whatever else you can smoke i cannot wait in fact if you've got any suggestions just put them down below and let me know i'd love to know so but let me go back to the story of what happened yesterday morning which unfortunately would have been awesome <laughs> if it was on live because you guys would have had a good laugh so i don't realize how hot these can get they can get really hot they can get hot enough you could cook a pizza in there no problems at all in probably about 20 minutes 15 minutes you'd better cook a pizza in there and so what happened is i didn't monitor the temperature so well i mean i was over here mucking around with something. I've got a table set up over here, checking out some of the other accessories, cleaning up and so on. Next thing I heard this big whoosh, and <laughs> I turned around and there was a whopping big flame in here. What happened is it got so hot in here that the wood chips took a light and they all just took off. So the whole thing was engulfed in a flame. I quickly grabbed my phone to take a photo, but before I did that, I, I was bit panicking what I'm going to do what I'm going to do then I thought straight away open the flue open the chimney up straight away and close this I did that and boom it kind of died that flame down it wasn't getting any oxygen it went out and then the heat just transferred out through the muffler so muffler <laughs> it looks like a nice big muffler chimney for the the winter well woodland almost forgot what it's called so yes that would have been live on air so that would probably would have that would have been more funnier than what happened with that small portable winter well oven that i did this was going to be a short video <laughs> but and i was actually going to show more details on this so in another video one day i'll show you how you set this up it's got a unique way how this is set up. So it actually attaches to the stove. If you're familiar with the Winterwell ovens, they've got this plate, round plate on the top that's got three, three notches on it that hooks in and locks in place. It's got the same on the bottom of the woodlander. So it actually locks in, so it won't tip our top over. It's very safe, it's secure. I mean, I had a a crazy gust of wind coming through here and that thing didn't even move it did not move so you're never going to have any problems of it topping over as long as you mount that properly but another unique feature with this oven the smoker you can actually use it without a winter well oven there's no reason even if you've got the medium you can still buy this because it's got four foldable legs underneath so you fold the legs out and then just go buy yourself one of those good quality gas stoves with the separate canister, gas canister. You, see, you know, you've got the burner here and it's got a little hose that runs off it, metal hose, most of them. And you connect your gas canister onto that. So that way the gas canister is away from the heat for safety. And then you can use that as a heat source. But you could also use probably your gas stove, uh, electric stove, etc. You could probably use that as well to get the heat going through this. So it's quite unique and it also folds flat and it comes with a bag. It 
includes this awesome heavy duty winter whale bag with it. How awesome is that? So, without further ado, right, I'm going to call this video quits. So, till next time, I might actually release this video before I release a video. I filmed the video a few days ago, pretty much showing everything, all the winter well. It's not an unboxing, kind of some of the items I did unbox and open for the first time and saw them with you guys while it's filming. I haven't had a chance to edit that yet. So, but what I think what I might do, considering what happened with the video the other day, the live video, I might actually edit this one and post it first. So I'm gonna edit this. You're gonna see this one first. And then after this one, I'm going to edit the other one and I'll show you all the winter whale gear that I've got and the reasons why I went for them. And wait till you see some of the accessories that I've got with that winter whale gear. Wait till you see it, eh? So till then, eh? Cheers. And please like and subscribe. You got no idea how much that helps my channel. Any questions, ask, before, ask below. And remember, everyone that comments on a video down below will go into a draw at the end of the month to win a prize. Probably most likely be one of my stickers. I don't have a lot of merchandise out as yet. So keep tuned for that, eh? Keep your eye out for that. But you've got to comment. You've got to, you've got to put a like. The requirement, you have to put a like on the video. You've got to comment. And of course, you've got to be subscribed to my channel as well. So it's three, three, three is the um, criterion, I should say, is that the word? There. So be amazed, guys, before I get myself into another <laughs> tongue twister, good night. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Cheers. Hooray. <laughs>